Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about another type of piecewise function called step functions. And in order to explain exactly what a step function is, I really have to do an example of a piecewise function to show you. So this is a piecewise function here made up of one, two, three, four different lines. And all of these lines are horizontal lines. So the, the first one is the same thing as saying y equals zero. The second one is the same thing as saying y equals one y equals 2, and y equals 3. So we want the line, let's say the first one, the line 0, meaning y equals 0. So that's this horizontal line right here, the x-axis. But we only want that from 0 to 1. The 0 is going to get an open circle because there's no line, and the 1 is going to get a closed circle. So I'm going to put a closed circle at 1, and an open circle at 0, and connect it. So I only want that part of the line. Then I'd like to graph y equals 1 from 1 to 2, both getting closed circles. So the line y equals 1 is this horizontal line here, but I only want the part from 1 closed circle to 2. Okay, now we're going to do the next line, y equals 2 from 2 to 3, both getting closed circles. So the line y equals 2 is this horizontal line here, but I only want from 2 to 3. Both get in closed circles like we said before. And then the last one, I want the line y equals 3. For all values of x that are greater than 3, this is going to get a circle, an open circle. So open circle and all values greater. So what you just graphed here is called a step function. Step functions look like staircases. So you see how like we're going up and down, up and down, here's my staircase, staircase there. It's pretty much an example of what it would look like. So why don't you take a minute um, and see if you can answer these three questions down here. Is this piecewise graph a function? What's the domain and what's the range? Resume once you've finished. Okay, so the question is, is it a function? The answer is no, it's not a function. And the reason why is because if you look right here, this horizontal line that I would draw here would hit twice, here and here, so it fails. The horizontal line that I would draw here would hit here and here twice, so it would fail. Even though it passes here, because it only hits once, we would say that it's not a function. Uh, what's the domain? Um, the domain you should have written is all values from zero on. But am I including zero? You should be saying no. So it's going to be zero with a parenthesis to infinity with a parenthesis. So zero on. All the values are included. Um, now how about range? Range is all of the values from here up. Well, it's not going to be these values in here. It, it's really just a y value of zero, a y value of one, a y value of 2, and a y value of 3. Like 1.5, there are no values here that are going to be touched. And 2, 2.5, no values in here, no values in here. There literally are four values in the range that are hit. 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we actually are going to list these values. These values are listed. So 0, 1, 2, and 3. And that's it. Okay, why don't you take a minute and see if you can do example number two here. See if you can graph this piecewise function and answer these three questions below. Um, and when you're finished, hit resume and the answer will be shown. Okay, so this is what you should have done. You should have graphed the line y equals four, negative four for all values that are less than or equal to negative three. So you should have graphed it from here over at negative 2 from negative 3 open circle to negative 1 closed circle. You should have graphed y equals 0 from negative 1 open circle to 1 closed. And the line y equals 2 from x is greater than 1 open circle on. Again, this is another step function. The question is, is this a is this piecewise graph a function? Yes. Hits once, hits once, hits once. This is an open circle. It kind of goes right through it, so it doesn't actually hit there. So the answer should have been yes, this is a function. Um, what is the domain? Well, let's look at it, this here. Domain is going on forever here, on forever here. 
Does it hit a 3? Yes. At one, negative 1 and 2? Yep. So pretty much all real numbers again. So negative infinity to infinity. And what's the range? Again, you wanted to list these y values here. So negative 4, negative 2, 0, and 2. So negative 4, negative 2, 0, and 2. Perfect. All right. So what you just graphed are called step functions. These are two other examples of what step functions could look like. This one's going up this way, this one's going up this way, except the dots are a little bit reversed. Basically, anything that looks like one of these two things would be considered a step function. All right, let's go on to the next page and discuss a word problem. Okay, I'm going to start reading here. As of January 10th, 1999, the cost, C, in dollars of sending next day mail using the U.S. Postal Service, depending on the weight, X, in ounces of a package up to 5 pounds, is given by the function below. Graph the function on the set of axes below and answer the questions that follow. Okay, well, first we want to figure out what's going to go on the x-axis and what's going to go on the y-axis. Well, they tell you the weight is in the x-axis and the cost is the y-values. So, let's label that first. Cost, and then weight. Now you're going to have to come up with an appropriate scale for the x-axis and for the y-axis. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with in the function. So here are my x values. They range from 0 all the way up to 80. Um, so why don't you pause the video and see if you can come up with an appropriate scale. I thought it was appropriate to count by 4s, so here's your scale. Okay, and as far as the cost goes, your cost has to range from $11.75 to $24. Um, so why don't you pause the video again and see if you can find an appropriate scale and then hit resume once you do. I thought it was appropriate to go up by $1. Here's your scale. Okay, now why don't you take a minute and see if you can graph this piecewise step function. Just keep in mind that these are all straight lines here. So this is the line right here, y equals 11.75. So if I were to graph this, I would be graphing the line y equals 11.75 from when x is 0 to 8. 0 gets an open circle and 8 gets a closed. So I'm going to put it somewhere a little here, 11.75. It doesn't have to be perfect. So it's from 0 to 8. Like that. All right, why don't you see if you could do the rest and hit resume when you're done. Okay, this should be your step function. Now the question is, on the bottom, is this graph a function? And you should be saying yes because it hits only once here, only once here, only once here. So yes, it is a function. The domain should be from x is equal to 0 all the way up to x is equal to, oh, not there, x is equal to 80. So it's including the 80, but there's an open circle here, so it's not really including 0. So we're going to write parentheses 0 to 80 bracket. And the range, again, as we did before, are just all these y values here, 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 and here. So you just want to list those out. Okay, and this should be your answer. If you have any questions, we'll ask tomorrow.